Hi, I'm Lou Diamond Phillips. We're going to show you how to play a hand of No Limit Texas Hold'em. The button will start here in seat number one. Blinds will follow the button. That is a forced bet to force action on the table. Uh, many times the blinds will start at, say, 25 and 50. Uh, in the UK, they're pounds. 25 and 50 pounds. In the US, they're 25 and 50 dollars. Each player gets two cards face down. These are called your hole cards or your pocket cards. Becky, could you please? Now the first blind, the small blind, has half the bet in. The big blind would have the full amount of the bet in. If I want to call the bet, I look at my hole cards. In this case, one of my favorite hands. If I want to call the bet, I would call 50. At this point, I can either raise or I can fold. I, if, I, if I'm going to raise, I have to raise twice the big blind. In No Limit Texas Hold'em, I can push in all of my chips at any time. At this point, it would be very foolish. So I would simply call this bet. We're going to pretend that's a 50, all right? Then this person will call, that person calls, we'll all call this, and we'll see the flop, in which case the dealer, Becky, will burn one card, flop three. This is called the board. Queen, 10, 6. At this point, I flopped open-ended. I've got a 9, 10, jack, queen. An 8 or a king is going to make my straight. I've got to be worried about this one over card. Someone could possibly have this queen, in which case they have the better hand than, uh, than me. I also have to be worried about two to the flush on the table. Someone could have uh, two clubs in the, in the hole in their pocket cards and therefore have four to the flush, in which case they've got a better draw than me. This is where the betting in Texas Hold'em becomes very, very important strategically. I'm going to pay very close attention to see how these people bet. Let's say this person checks, this person checks. I personally, because I'm an aggressive player, I would hit this pot. I would hit this pot because I like my draw quite a lot. Hopefully, I'll take it down right now, even if I don't have a hand. I've, I'm simply on a draw. Somebody with the queen's got me beat. So let's say this person calls me. Let's say they all call because they're all playing very loose and foolishly and we've had a lot to drink. At this point, Becky would burn one and she turns 4th Street or the turn. That's what this is called. I happen to love this turn from my hand. As I said, I've got Jack, 9 of hearts. On the flop, I had an open-ended straight draw. With the 3 of hearts on the turn or on 4th Street, I now have 4 to the flush. I still do not have a made hand. I don't have a pair yet, but I like my draw a lot. Once again, I've got to be worried about the flush draw, ace jack, ace king, any one of those is a higher straight than mine. Ace king of hearts, ace queen of hearts. Uh, king, any suited heart, is a higher draw than mine. That, that's one of the reasons I love this game, because the, the amount of, of variations and, and the possibilities out there, uh, the good players are the ones who know their outs. The good players know what are the possibilities of them winning. Once again, at this point, uh, I could push in all my chips at any time and try to take this pot. And this is where the betting, even more so than the cards, is important to no limit hold them. All right? So let's say that I bet. Check, check to me. I bet. As a matter of fact, I'm going all in because I like my draw. All right? So I push all in. We all call river card. Last card. Imagine that just like in Hollywood, I river the straight. I win this hand because we've got a jack ace over here. 6-3. Six, 6-3 three. Six, three makes two pair on the turn was way ahead of me. All right? Would have needed to bet me out and that hand I never would have been able to read. I would have never been able to figure out what this particular hand was. Queen four, top pair, top pair rotten kicker. If they wanted to win this hand they had to have uh, uh, put in a lot of money at the very very beginning. I end up rivering the straight. I would take all the chips in the pot. Easy, right? See you at the tables.